on 1st September AM at ship in DR position. The sextant altitude of pole star is given. One chronometer adjusted with GPS clock showed this time, which is 05 over 22 minute and 26 second. And if height of I and index error is given, find the line of position and position through which to draw it. So we have this uh, chronometer time, which is 05 hour, 22 minute and 26 second. But you should know that the chronometer time may be 05 hour or maybe is 17 hours. So the chronometer time could be 05 hour or 17 hour. Zero, chronometer time is given in the format of 0 to 12 hours. Now, longitude in time, this longitude is given, which is 178 degree 11 minute. We need to convert into hours. Well, we can do with the Kelsey also. Suppose this is 178 degree and 11 minute. Again, I'll put this degree. I just need to divide by 15 and I get this 11, 52, 44. Well, same thing here, 11, 52 and 54 this is our minute and second so I have this time and since the longitude is east we can say a GMT is least that means LMT has to be more so in order to get more LMT I need to add this LIT so I add here and I get this value which is 17 hours and some 15 minutes 10 seconds and here I when I get this it is exceeding 24 hours so it is the next day well now let's examine what is the question question says that it is am and if I see that this is am 5th am that's the morning time and this is the evening time so I discard this however and the date is 1st September so I bring this uh, first day and uh, let me put it here September also this was the 1st September so obviously this chronometer date has to be 31st and 31st of August so we establish the GMT that is August 31st, 17 hours, 22 minutes and 26 seconds. This was the chronometer time and now we know this is the GMT time or universal time. Now with this GMT time, I need to find GHA of Aries. So GHA Aries for 31st August and 17 hours, I need to look in the almanac. And here is the almanac. This is for 2008 and this is August 31st. So 31st August here, this is the UT time, which is the GMT. Here 17 hours, 31 and 17. And in the column of Aries, here I see 235, 14.6. Similarly, I look for the increment, which was 22 minute and 26 second so I need to see this Aries column and here I see the increment which is 5 degree 37.4 so we have this GHA 235 degree 14.6 and increment so I get GHA Aries now longitude east is was given which is 178 degree 11 minute let me just scroll it up here again just to find out longitude was 178 degree 11 minute east so that i use longitude east here now again the same uh, uh, principle that longitude east gha least so lha will be more so I got to add. When I add both these, I get this value 419 degree 03 minute. However, this is more than 
360 degree so what I need to do subtract from 360 degree and I get this value 0 059 degree 0 3 minute similarly let's find out what is the true altitude so here this is the sextant altitude which is given 18 degree 56 minute index error if it is on the arc it has to be subtracted, subtracted which is minus 2 then this is we get observed altitude which is 18 degree 54 minute now dip which is height of i which is given 20 meter so i get minus 7.9 Look at this albanic here height of i is 20 meter so the correction is minus 7.9 now we need to look at this table stars and planets where it is apparent altitude and correction so we get this value that apparent altitude is 18 degree 46.1 and need to find the total correction for this 18 degree 46.1 uh, let me just go back to that same table so here in this between 18 degree 37 and 19 degree 16 I have this minus 2.8 that is the total correction for this apparent altitude and this is applicable for stars and planets so i get this value which is 18 degree 43.3 well if you would like to use the kelsey here uh, that's pretty easy uh, just use this way 18 degree well 56 minute again you put degree minus and this is uh, two minutes so put zero degree and two minute you get this value and then again minus 0 degree 7.9 7.9 degree then again you get 18 degree 46.1 actually this is uh, 6 seconds so that's become 0.1 minute and then you subtract minus 0 degree and 2.8 degree so we get 18 degree 43.3 point three is equal to 18 second now look at this problem again we have computed LHA Aries which is a 0 059 degree 0 3 minute all right and we know that this is the true altitude so we need to find all these uh, a0 a1 and a2 for this we need to enter again with this 0 059 degree 0 3 minute well a 0 059 degree and 0 3 minute if we enter here 0 059 degree 0 3 minute so I think this is better this this one is better 15 0 059 degree so what we get it is 19.2059 I get a0 factor as 19.2 here similarly the latitude let's just uh, scroll it up again this latitude was 18 degree so here again latitude is 20 degree and I need to enter in the same column it is showing a1 as 0 0.6 similarly a2 and the month was august and it shows okay just let me just scroll it up here yeah this column column go down go down go down and for month of september it is for august it is 0 0.3 a2 is 0 0.3 so we have obtained all the three values here now what we have to do we just need to add and the addition technique you can use the Kelsey or you can just uh, sum it up these values should be added to the true altitude plus these values 
so we get 19 degree 3.4 all you have to do is to subtract 1 so we get this observed altitude as 18 degree 3.4 minute north that is the answer now similarly we need to find azimuth for that again we can enter the table and if you enter the table for 20 degree in the same column which was under this column 50 50 degree to 59 this LHA 50 degree to 59 for 20 degree is 359.8 so it will not matter what will be the value for 18 degree so we'll take this 359.8 so azimuth is 359.8 well, LOP is 90 degrees. So this is 359.8. This is the direction of sun or oh, the polaris. Let me correct that. So 90 degree to that, which is 89.8 and then 180 degree to that, which is 269.8. So this was the observed altitude. DR latitude was different and this was the DR longitude. Well, this is the line of position and this is the direction for azimuth. Let me just put it here. So this line, you can call it as observed latitude, which we have obtained as 18 degree 